So I'm hecka tired and I'm just going to go through this video with you as quick as possible. So we're going to talk about here and we're going to talk about government. And the first thing that I want to mention is, yeah, we already seen this formula. This formula is so familiar to us by now. Y equals A equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So we're finally at the part where we talk about G. And the first thing I want to mention is that uh, that government, government, they directly affect Y. So the the government they directly affect Y or income. This is why they are directly affect Y through its spending, through its spending, spending, and. How they do that is, uh, I'm gonna explain, and I want you to know that for right now, in our case, G is like investment is totally autonomous. So we're not gonna assume that there there's an induced spending. So for government, it's just completely autonomous spending. So the in government indirectly affects Y through its taxing. Now we get into the good stuff. We're gonna get into taxes. So with that, government indirectly affects why are spending through through taxing okay so now we make the statement that government directly affects y through taxing so now we will have t equal our tax revenue so how much the government collects from us for, uh, as taxes tax revenue minus transfer payments and transfer payments I if I remember correctly I don't really remember what transfer payments were but I believe they were all the all the all the work that the government had to do to to actually get the money you know the the money that you pay don't actually like they don't actually go to the government directly the government have to pay people to actually get to actually get the right amount of uh, tax from you, and that's what I, uh, what I believe transfer payments were, if I remember correctly. But if they're not, I'm sorry for the, for the misleading facts. So T is equal to TR. Let TR be uh, tax revenue minus TP for transfer payments. Uh, TP is transfer payments, and this will equal to TY, little TY. And little ty, this should look familiar. Little t is the fraction of income. It's the fraction of income. I know that. I believe z was a fraction of income too. This is the fraction of income as well. So t, little t, this would be our big T over a change in taxes over change in income. And this is what we call the marginal this is what we call the marginal propensity propensity to tax to tax and we can abbreviate as MPT for marginal propensity to tax now the next thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the primary budget primary budget Apologize for my bad handwriting. I'm pretty damn tired right now. So I'm just trying to get through this as quick as possible. So primary budget, or we call it PB. So primary budget PB is equal to T minus G. And this, we can expand T to make it tax revenue minus transfer payments minus government spending and that's the primary budget that we have so the primary budget is pretty much what the government collects minus all the handiwork that they have to do to collect the right amount of taxes all the routes that they have to go through to get the taxes from millions and millions of people minus what the government actually spends for services for services for the citizens so that's the idea of how, the, how we get the primary budget so let's say there are three cases I want to talk about for primary budget and this is when primary budget 
is greater than zero when primary budget when primary budget is equal to zero and the case of when primary budget is less than zero. So these are the three cases when when we that I want to talk about. So when primary budget is greater than zero, there is a surplus. So it's a PV surplus. It's PV surplus. So what I mean by this is that what the, is that the total cost for the for the, for the transfer payments and for the government, if we add up transfer payments and government, is less than the amount that we have for transfer revenue. So say, say like transfer payments is twenty twenty dollars, and government is five dollars, and transfer revenue is a hundred dollars. If we take a hundred minus twenty minus five, that's seventy five dollars, and the the government actually made a profit of seventy five dollars, and that's our primary budget. Now. For PV equals zero, now this becomes very intuitive. When PV equals zero, it's a balanced PV. It's balanced PV. So you can just make up an example again like this. You can just make it up that TR is equal to fifty dollars, TP is equal to twenty-five, G is also equal to twenty-five. So at the end of the at the end of the day, the government actually broke even. They made no money. On the transfer uh, on the on the tax on tax revenue and they made no loss on tax revenue. Now, lastly, P, when PV is less than zero, it's you should know by now what I'm going to say next. That's when that's when it is a PV deficit. And when it is a PV deficit, uh, what happens is that what the government collected is actually less than the amount they're spending and and the transfer payments or or the tax revenue is equal to their uh, government spending, but they didn't really cover the trash payments or the other way around, vice versa. And that's the idea I want to give you in this video about the primary budget. Now, lastly, I want to talk about national savings. And this will be the last short topic I will talk about before I end this video. As I said, I'm super tired. It's been a long day. And I want to finish this as quick as possible. Maybe Oshman video should be quick. So national savings or NS is equal to private spending is equal to private spending or private it's not private spending, it's private saving plus public saving. Public saving, and this is equal to S plus T minus G. If national savings is pretty much the savings of the entire country. So the idea is, uh, we're gonna calculate how much each citizen has saved in their uh, from their jobs or wherever the source of income is. So private saving is. How much we as individuals have saved up. Public saving is how much the government has at the end of the day. It's how much, uh, how much tax revenue they have uh, more than their government spending and their transfer payments. So pretty much, national saving is all the money that we hold in our bank at the end of the day. Is a good, uh, a good example of what I'm trying to convey here. So. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. And if you still, if you're on national saving, you can look it up. I think I got the point across that it's pretty much all the savings of each private, uh, uh, private account, I guess. So each individual and the savings of uh, the government they have at the end of the day after all their spendings. Thanks for watching.